So the, the next video in this series explains to you about inserting page numbers. Now we've got the section break in here and that is important because it's that that allows us to split our page numbers. What I'm going to do here is just put a page break in and this gives us two clear pages this might be your title page before we start to get into the body of the document itself. So we're going to put page numbers in first at the start here. So we'll click anywhere before this section break doesn't matter where. Go to page number insert the page number you can decide where you want it to be so my preference is the bottom right hand corner of the page I hit the page number there I can select that and it's put it in here down in the footer and that's great and you can see it says this is page two we got one two we go on to three here but I don't want the pages before this to be um, numbered in this way so I can just close the header and footer there we can again click before the section break, go back to insert, go back to page number and we're going to format the page numbers. So prior to the section break we want all of our page numeration to be in Roman numerals. You can use lowercase or uppercase, it's up to you what your preference is. You can pick them unless someone's dictating what it needs to be. You can say OK to that and you can see now these are Roman numerals. When we move through however our first page of the document is page 3 so to make this right we now need to click past the section break and we can go again to page number format page numbers and we can start at and it'll say 1 we can say OK for that now and we've got 1 there and this is what you've been building to over the past few videos is to get it to the stage where we can insert an automated table of contents so we can go to where it says table of contents, the automated table of contents here where it's going to be in your document and we can go to references table of contents now you'll see there's some automatic ones I have a preference for using the insert table of contents because I've got more control over it and I'm just going to select insert table of contents this will come up I've got three levels of heading. If I had more, I might want to increase the levels of heading here, but I don't. So I've got those. This is exactly what I want. Page numbers, right align them. The tab lead is going to look like that, and there isn't much more to do with this unless I want to modify the text, but we can pick all that up at a later date. Just say OK. And that is my automated table of contents. Now, I don't have to mess around putting in all this information. It will just pick it up through the document, provided I've set all my headings up correctly. So the automated table of contents is great, you can click on it, it'll turn grey, you can uh, use the control and click to go to the link in the document, you can right click on it to update the field and you might want to update the entire table, you might have made some changes to it, again you can use control, it'll take you through to a section, it may be that you want this to start on a fresh page, you can insert a page, break it or move it over to that page, you can scroll back up to your table of contents, click on it right click, update it, update the entire table although in this case the numbers have only changed so it's up to you which one you pick say OK and you can see our numbers then have changed down the side there so that's how to get to the stage of having an automated table of contents there are a number of other features within Word and we'll cover those in later videos